Today, we're shaking things up a little bit because I'm going to be sharing with you seven curvy, friendly fashion brands that you might be sleeping on. So get that pen and paper, girl. New here, I'm Chi Chi, welcome. If you're not new here, hey girl, hey. Welcome new kids and let them know how we treat family around here. Here, we're all about celebrating style, self-expression, and all things fabulous. If that sounds like what you're interested in, girl, get comfortable, stay a while. Now, some of these brands I'm gonna mention, some people have expressed their dislike for, which is weird because I really feel like you can pick up some gems from a couple of these places. If you ever been to like a theme thing, like maybe an all white party and you show up there and you and three other girls have on the same outfit because there's only one plus size store in the mall and that was the only option that was actually cute. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully this list will help you with that issue. If it's me, I'm gonna go up to the girls and say, hey girls, we gonna take a picture, we gonna kiki, cause guess what, we all have great taste. But sometimes you don't wanna be dressed like everybody else, okay? Sometimes you don't. And I feel like this list is gonna help you so you never have to have that situation again. Oh, before we dive in, let me go ahead and share my outfit of the day. That whole outfit started with the hat, okay? Because your girl needs to get her hair done and so we needed some kind of accoutrement to cover up what was going on underneath here, right? And then I was like, okay, since I'm doing a bucket hat, it's actually like a double-sided hat. Like it has like a windbreaker-y type side and then it has this crochet side, which I love because that means you can wear it in the city and you can wear it on vacation. We love a versatile piece. And it actually fits my hair by the way oh my god I just sometimes I anyway let's let, let me not get distracted and so because I was going with the hat which is definitely giving me 90s or maybe early 2000s when when did the Kango hat had them have its moment I can't remember I thought I'd just throw on an oversized button down and then I have on this like sports bra slash crop tank top situation from Wally World you know how we feel about her and then these leather shorts which are great for the transitional season from M's one and last I checked these shorts were like $14 don't know if that is is still the price because they be changing it but if it's still available <laughs> I will link it for you in the description box down below uh oh in terms of accessories I have the usual culprits here so I have my Michael Kors watch my Marie Costello bracelet I decided to keep things very simple okay simple today <laughs> because that's what I was in the mood for now that we've gotten that out of the way let's dive in let's start with brand number one Abercrombie. Now, if you grew up in the 90s or 2000s, I'm sure you're thinking like, what? Abercrombie? The mall? Yes, it was that store that most people who look like me definitely were my size, all right? Did not venture to. Okay, but guess what? It's now 2020 something, something, something we are in. And this Abercrombie has completely rebranded. And it's at the top of my list because one of the top requests I always get from the girls is about denim. And then one of the things I'm always talking about is about closet staples. And those are two things that Abercrombie does very well. Now, Abercrombie does not specifically a plus size store. They are size inclusive in certain ranges. And one range where they're fully size inclusive or as very size inclusive is what I should say, is the denim range. I believe their denim goes up to a 24 or 26, okay? They have a curvy fit, a regular fit, and they also have petite, regular, and tall. And I think in some select denim styles, they have extra petite and extra tall. So when I say that they have checked up all the boxes when it comes to denim, they have. They also have all the trending styles. So if you like white leg jeans, they got it. If you like straight leg jeans, they got it. If you want skinny jeans, they got it. If you want relaxed fit, they got it. 90s fit, look. They have such a robust denim selection. So if you are on the hunt for jeans, definitely they are a must check out brand. And then that also spills into like other types of denim, like denim shorts. My go-to pair of denim shorts come from them. They have the dad short, which is the perfect short because it's not too short. You know, it's not Daisy Dupes, which can be inappropriate in some settings and will definitely get lost up your hoo-ha if you got thunder thighs like mine. And they're also not like super long that can kind of like tend to lean towards like the more mature side, you know? So it's like the perfect length. They also have their shorts in both regular and curvy fit for my girls who may have have like a smaller waist, a bigger butt. You have extra room in the thighs and in the behind. 
Those shorts also go up to like a size 24, 26 as well. They have the denim game on lock. Another reason why I love them is for their quality staples. If you are in your grown girl era, in your grown girl bag, and you want a wardrobe that actually matches that, you know, you want pieces in your wardrobe that you don't put in the wash once and it disintegrates, then Abercrombie got you. My favorite go-to white t-shirts from them. They have beautiful summer dresses in very classic and timeless styles. That's one thing I like about them. If you're a capsule wardrobe girly, if you want classic timeless, they got that. But they also sprinkle in a fun, some fun colors, they sprinkle in some fun prints, you know, if you need like linen pants, white t-shirt, shorts, you need like a, 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 a slip dress for a wedding, all of that, they have it all checked off. And I personally, I feel like a lot of the styles they have on the site are very flattering universally, okay? My, one of my favorite dresses from them is called the Emerson dress. They make it short, they make it in long. I personally prefer the midi style. It comes in at the waist, has like these dramatic puff sleeves. You know, you guys have asked me about this dress because I featured it a, com a couple of times. It comes in a plethora of colors. If you can find it in stock because it always sells out in larger sizes, grab it. If you, if you like it, grab it. Do not press go or do not hesitate. I wear a size extra large in their tops and an extra, extra large in their bottoms. It is, sometimes I fit their bottoms, sometimes I don't, but my general rule of thumb is if it's like, you know, wide leg style or looser style, I can typically fit their bottoms. And then for the dress, I believe I get an extra large, unless it's something that's again, fitted to the body, then I'll probably size up to an extra, extra large. So yes, sis, if you need some core basic some staples for the spring and summer Abercrombie is your girl okay she is your girl definitely check her out the next brand is going to be nasty gal now if you don't know a little bit of the backstory but nasty gal was started by a former thrifter is the best way to describe her she's now gone on to become a full girl boss she sold nasty gal she started the girl boss brand i believe she sold that too and i, I think her name is like sophia amaruso or something along that line right and basically her style is very boho very edgy very california you know like coachella vibes that is her style and i feel like that ethos continues to still be embedded in the footprint of Nasty Gal and it's currently owned I believe by the same people that own Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo. Don't quote me on it. It is fast fashion but I find that the quality is a little bit better than those two other brands. So it's like more on the, it's not quite like a Banana Republic but it's kind of like a Banana Republic for fast fashion. Let me put it that way. <laughs> what I love about Nasty Gal is that I can always find those pieces, those statement pieces I can't find anywhere else. If you're looking for sequin dress nasty gal got you they got probably like seven eight or nine or ten sequin dresses that you will not see on anybody else trust me it's a uk based brand where you can shop their u.s site and shop with u.s sizing and once you spend like two seconds there you understand if you have plans to go to coachella nasty gal is the place for you for curvy girls okay they have like flare sequin star trousers okay they have rainbow tassel midi dresses they have all all of the sequin midi skirts you need. They also have swim. Oh, they also great for like jackets, winter jackets, like almost like if you ever look at Good American and look at their statement jackets, you can get that at Nasty Gal for a fraction of the price, okay? So that kind of quality. You know, when I'm looking for like a hot pink, you know, long jacket, I know I can find it there. You know, an oversized leather blazer, I got it from there, right? So they always have those pieces that I find that I, f I have to search around a lot on US sites to find but they got it by the boat load on that site if you're a tall girl they are very tall girl friendly very tall girl friendly now the only caveat for the nasty gal is if you're buying anything from them buy two sizes i'm telling you now some of you won't like it but i'm being honest because the sizing there i would say generally their sizing is very generous i typically have to buy like a size 16 when i'm a size 18 elsewhere in most other places but i would say about 90 percent of what i bought from nasty gal i've had to size down so if you're not sure i would buy your size and a size down at nasty gal if you're more on the petite side i'm telling you right now their trousers their pants their jeans are gonna be long okay but if you're a tall girl because plus size tall girls 
do exist. I want this like this clip to be sent to every plus size brand there is. Plus size tall girls exist. I'm not even that tall, I'm 5'7", y'all. But I cannot understand why anytime I see tall in any site, it always stops at a 16 or an 18, or if we're really lucky, a 20. There are some girls who wear size 22, 24 who are actually tall. Brands. Yanni step up 2024, for real. But anyways, if you are a tall girl, you will love them for trousers, for pants, but I'm gonna say it right now. You make sure you size down or get two sizes if you're not sure. The next brand is going to be Shopo. Now, Shopo is one of my favorite brands to shop during the summertime because they do resort wear and like occasion attire so well. This brand is not technically a plus size brand. They are an Australian brand and their largest size I believe is like an Australian 16 or a US 16 I don't I'm I go on the brand it asks me where I am at I say I'm in America and I put a size 16 because that is the largest size that they have on the site but I have several items from them that fit me and I'm a size 18 20. I tend to stick to things that, that are cut loosely or oversized or tops. That's why I, I've never bought any pants or bottoms or anything super fitted for them, but they also have those unique pieces that you will not find everywhere. If you have a wedding coming up, oh my God, they have the cutest occasion wear dresses, the cutest like little fit and flare dresses, the cutest cut out dresses, like just really unique pieces. And my favorite part about the brand is that they actually are size inclusive with their models so they will have multiple models model the looks now I'm pretty sure the girl who they use as the plus size model she's like thick but she looks to be petite to me and she looks to, to be about like a size maybe 14 but because she's petite you know she's a little bit fuller in the figure but for me that was one of the reasons why I felt comfortable shopping the site because they did have their pieces on different sized models okay if you're looking for the cutest little vacation dresses they got you if you're looking for the cutest little the wedding guest dresses they got you and now price wise I would say they're more of a mid-tier price point so you're not getting Timu or Shein prices here you're getting you know more like mm, at around the $75 mark when it comes to their dresses and their pieces right but if you're looking to stand out at an event maybe you have a birthday or a wedding that you really want to be cute for or maybe a vacation that you want to stun on you want to stun in or stun on whatever they got you they got the pieces all right they got the pieces I got this pink dress that till date people are still complimenting me on okay I also got this white maxi dress from them last summer so that I always do a peruse on their site every summer because I feel like they always have something I haven't seen elsewhere now the next brand I want to mention is cider from my Gen Z -er. cider is definitely giving more of a Gen Z aesthetic but if you are young at heart if you like quirky things if you're about that like ode to the 90s early 2000s vibes they will have something for you I love it from inception at least as long as I've known about the brand and I think the brand is relatively young maybe like five years or less I might be wrong I believe I don't know if it's Australian too I feel like it's also a foreign brand as well they have the pieces and I love the fact that they have things on both on the straight side side and uh, they have also a dedicated like plus size curvy side when I was looking for like a two-piece set they had this really gorgeous two-piece set that was like a corset with matching like cargo pants too cute okay they had this cute tank dress with beautiful like different colored roses on it you know fun prints like that I'm even seeing some American brands okay copying some of their looks right now so if you're looking for something eclectic a little different you know something a little bit more youthful they are worth trying out now I will be completely honest with you I have never shopped from cider I am about to place my first order. So if you were keeping up with the vloggy vlogs, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a mini haul there. And I know some of you don't know this, but I actually do post vlogs. Now, have I posted a vlog in 2024? No, I have not, mind your business. But there is there are vlogs coming up, and my goal is to post at least one vlog every month for the rest 
of the year. So, I'm letting you know now, if you didn't know, I do do vlogs sharing like the behind the scenes, the day to day, but also I am able to share these mini hauls on the vlogs that don't like warrant a full haul video until I'm able to do a collective haul. So if you're like, oh my God, I always miss stuff. Stuff always sells out. Definitely keep an eye out for the vlogs and turn on your notifications so you know when I post them because I feel like a lot of you come here for fashion and style related videos and some of you may not be as interested in the vlogs, okay? And your engagement matters when it comes to who YouTube decides to show my videos to. So if you're one of those people who are like, I'm not really a vlog girl, even though that literally that's all I watch on YouTube now. If you see the video, just, you know, give it a, give it a like. You know, watch a couple of seconds. You might just be surprised. And show it some love so that the girlies who are with the vlog, okay, will get to see the vlog. But anyways, if you don't want to miss, make sure you turn on those notifications because I will probably be sharing my cider haul in one of the upcoming vlogs. So the next brand is going to be one that you got, that, that might be surprising to you guys and that is Banana Republic. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, Banana Republic is also another one of those brands that isn't technically a plus size brand but they do go up to a size 20. Now, Banana Republic for me again is kind of very similar to Abercrombie but the quality to me is ever so slightly better okay people are sleeping on banana republic if you're a high fashion girl like banana republic does a great job at creating some mid tier pieces that would rival designer quality if you're looking to really beef up your work wardrobe and even looking to like add in some statement pieces into your wardrobe that can transition banana republic is that girl i love their linen pieces in the summer they make the lightest softest most durable linen tops linen dresses really fun eclectic shapes they also have a tall that goes up to a size 20 if you're looking for trousers i thought i'd mention that as well for my tall girls just impeccable pieces there there was like a swedish coat I believe it was like a suede coat that went viral around the holidays because of the quality and the style. It was giving runway, okay? They also had a dupe for the hourglass coats, again, giving runway, again. Okay, so if you're really a fashion girl that you want you like to keep up with the high fashion looks, Banana Republic is a girl to watch. And I would say that, that they're generous with their sizing as well. Obviously, I would say if you're anywhere between like a 16 to a 20, maybe a 22, you can get away with some of the pieces all right i usually get the largest size in bottoms in jackets um and then for tops i'll sometimes get like an extra a 2xl or is it extra large from them and it fits perfectly well my favorite linen pieces come from banana republic their dresses their tops and so i just wanted to mention that as we're going into summer because she's definitely a girl to watch okay that is clothing that you know that you can wear and wash and pull out summer after summer one thing about summer clothing i find is that it has a lot more longevity summer basics a good linen shirt a good linen dress a good pair of linen shorts those things don't ever go out of style and they're definitely worth spending the money at banana republic and then the last yeah, is going to be Hanifa. Okay, so I could not do this video one without mentioning a black owned brand, without mentioning, you know, an intro to Lux brand. Um, I love the Hanifa creates ready to wear, but it's designer and it's designer that is affordable for, I don't know, I, I don't, affordable is such a relative word, but it's like affordable in comparison to like a Fendi, for example. I love the pieces that she makes. She is a curvy girl and and I love the fact that from jump, her styles have always been size inclusive. I believe she goes up to a 3X in styles. She gives us these like drops, and these collections once or twice or three times a season. She does resort well, so well. She also does really nice knit pieces as well. This green dress that the girls were blowing up my DMs about is Hanifa. It comes in a plethora of colors. I love the fact that she always brings the cult classics back in all the colors, okay? And then seasonally, she adds in like new pieces to the collection as well. This knit skirt I picked up last year or the year before that. So she has these pieces like that are statement 
designer pieces you won't spend a mortgage on. You know, that's what I love about her pieces. I'm wearing the skirt here in a 3X and I could have sized down. So if you're around my size, bear that in mind. I think for her stretchy pieces, you can definitely size down. And so if you're looking for like a statement piece for your birthday and you don't want to wear what everybody got on, she's definitely one to check out. Another girl to check out is Andrea Ayama, but I'm trying to keep this to seven. So I will link her to in the description box down below for you guys. If you're enjoying this video and you want more videos just like this, first of all, give this video a like, especially if I put you on to a new brand that you'll be checking out, but also make sure to subscribe, okay, if you've had some fun with me. And did I say turn on those notifications? Did you do it? Yeah, turn on those notifications. <laughs> so you'll never miss a video. So out of all these brands that I mentioned, which brand caught your eye? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's start that fashion conversation and you never know. Your comment could be featured in the next video. Remember, you're fabulous just the way you are and your style should reflect that. Until next time, stay blessed, stay chic, stay fabulous, and I'll see you in the next video.